Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Jeannie had it absolutely correct earlier on in the show when she said that there's nothing worse than being so prepared for the weekend and only realizing it is Tuesday. So today in the kitchen, we thought we'd sweeten up the day uh, as we could with Chiara Torelli, who's our guest chef today. She makes the most delicious treats on our show. And today we're making something that I've never actually tried to make before. It's a pavlova. Yes, with exactly. A, something else in the middle, cream thing. So we're making a pavlova ring. Mm -hmm. with a vanilla cream and golden berries. Okay, that sounds super delicious. So I'm ready to get cooking and I want to help today. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to put you to work. Good. Right. We've started here. We just used our egg whites in here. They must be room temperature so that you cool. can get them as fluffy as possible. So we've just started to whisk that up with our super fine sugar, which is very important. Okay. Because super fine sugar, like salati, cast the snow, is going to go into the egg white super quickly. Okay, cool. And it also prevents it from having those little bits in it. Exactly. Keeps it nice and fluffy and fresh and fluffy. So we're just going to put that in, just doing the last bit here, because we whipped it up a little bit before. Okay. So we just want it to dissolve in there nicely. Ooh. Yeah. More sweetness, the better with exactly. desserts. I say go for it. So now okay. we're just going to whip that up. And now, what makes a pavlova, a pavlova, is two secret ingredients. I mean, it's not a secret, but it's something that you really need to put in. And that is the vinegar and the mazina, because what it does is it makes it marshmallow. Ah. And so that's the difference between it doesn't solidify them. then on... Exactly. It doesn't solidify. Because if you're making a meringue, it's sugar and egg whites, no. and this is what makes a difference. Oh, I honestly have always thought my whole life that a pavlova was meringue on the outside with just stuff in the middle. So no. it's not. Oh my word, I'm learning things today. Okay, so we, have we put the vinegar in there? No, we're going to put it in now. Okay. I'm guessing you're going to need my help to get the bowl out. Always. You, you're the official guy to take the bowl out. Do you realize that? <laughs> I swear if I played cricket, I'd be a bowler. <laughs> cool. Okay, so you can add in there for us the vinegar. Cool. And you just use what type of vinegar here? You can use white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, or spirit vinegar. Okay, whatever cool. so you any, like. Any kind. Yes. Uh, that's a vanilla. vanilla. And then the last thing Essence is... Essence or...? Extract. Extract. Yes. Okay, cool. Which is even more strong than the other. Exactly. Okay, do you want to do the sieving so then I can do the mixing? Yes. How does that sound? That sounds perfect. Okay, so I'm just, what am I doing? Wait, now, because there's a big rule in these kitchens with folding exactly. versus mixing. What am I doing? I was just about to say to you, you need to lightly incorporate the what mazina. Is, what's the difference okay, now? Fold, fold it lightly. Too much for me to deal with. Okay, so lightly fold. Okay, so in the middle to the outside. Oh my word, you are amazing. Something like this. Perfect. Cool. I didn't know that the vinegar add prevented it from solidifying as much as it did. And even yeah. though it gets baked in the oven. Or does it not? No, it does it get does. baked in the oven. But the thing is, that's what makes it like that nice marshmallowy inside. Oh, okay, cool. So it's the nice chewy texture if you're looking for yes. another description of that. Oh, yummy. And this looks so good and so sweet. It's great for a Tuesday afternoon, I'd say. <laughs> Any day snack. Okay, yeah. Like, I think this is... Yeah, I'm happy with this perfect. final product. Yes. Now, what's next? So now what I've done is I've just prepared this baking sheet. Prepared as well. Is, is that the same as, like, prepared but in, in it's shaping exactly terms? It's exactly the same. Exactly. Okay. It's like a, just a more, like... Precise word to saying prepared. Or if you were spiffy while you did it, you were prepared or prepared. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so what must I do? So now, you, okay, I'm going to take over from here. Is that okay? Okay. Don't ever interrupt a girl in the kitchen. <laughs> Especially ever. not an Italian ever. girl. Okay, so what I've done is I've just taken a plate and I've just drawn a circle. Because as I said, we're making a ring. Traditional okay. pavlova, you'll just pile it on, there's no hole in the middle. Aha, uh -huh. so I thought when I was at school, you'd never need one of those protractors ever again. I've just found out that you'll need a protractor at some point in your life. So do not throw those away ever. And if a kid has one, he hasn't used them in like 10 years, you now know what to use it for. Exactly. Recycling, reusing. I'm so wise, sure. You really are. It's great. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so we've just made that because we want to make sure that we get a nice round ring. Amazing. That's it. So you just take a spoonful. I like things to be rustic. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can pipe it. Yeah, she's drawn but a I'm... perfect circle around the whole outline. <laughs> as rustic as it yeah, gets. Yeah, so okay. rustic. Sure, that is so rustic, Yada. Like, wow. So we're okay. just going to put that around the outskirts. And just remember, it is going to grow a little bit. Okay, obviously a nice suggestion. She's using a nice scoop that's obviously going to get you equal size portions as you scoop it out. So that is a, a, this is a nice way to make sure that each little dollop is the same size. So you don't get like it becoming an oval by mistake. Yeah, no, that would be, my OCD would okay. actually freak out if it became an oval. Cool. So. so once we've obviously laid all of that out, we've, I guess, got to do the filling. Yes. So the filling for Hello. this is going to be a vanilla cream. So oh. it's, very, it's very simple. It just adds a nice flavor to the final pavlova. Okay. So we've just whipped up normal pouring cream, 
until stuff peak stage, and then you're going to pump in three of those, which is vanilla paste. Okay, now if I didn't have one of these at home, is that just like three teaspoons? No, it's less. It's about okay. one and a half teaspoons. Can you use this? Yes, please. So it's one and a half Look teaspoons. at you fold. You're so good. So I was worried that you were actually going to like attack me, so I thought I'd just try and make <laughs> I sure. I would never attack Ooh! you. <laughs> never cross a baking chef in the kitchen when it comes to like, they just mix something and you start going around like, no! It's wrong and then you ruin dish. everything. Okay, cool. So I think that that was, that was pretty easy actually. This vanilla paste just like rocks off. What's the difference between vanilla paste and like a vanilla essence or? Well, the thing is I want, you see these beautiful little black specks that you get in yeah. there, which is a vanilla seed. In yeah. the paste, it's got a nice flavor, same as like vanilla extract and then it's got the seeds in as well. So why don't you just an extract and then like put a bit of vanilla seed in there? You can, but this is so much easier. Okay. Wasn't the three pumps a thing Convenient, much it exactly. was much more convenient. All right, so that's done. What happens? Just pour this in the middle. No, so now what this happens to oh. this, separate, separate. Okay, okay. So this bakes at 150 for 30 minutes. Okay. After the 30 minutes, turn your oven off. Leave it in there. You can even leave it in overnight if you want to. And that's going to give you a nice crunchy outside Ooh, and a nice marshmallow chewy inside. Oh, delicious. So we're going to keep you in suspense to see what the final product looks like. And we'll show you how to put the final touches on this incredible pavlov we're making on the show today with Chiara Torilli. If you want to get the recipe and the shopping list, you can find it on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za, and make all the dishes we make on this show. It's a great, great, great dessert to make for the families that you guys do. A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express. So it's a sweet kind of Tuesday on the show today as we're cooking with Chiara Torilli and we're making a pavlova on the show today with a really delicious vanilla cream that we're putting inside the middle. So it's basically just to put the final touches on our pavlova lover today. Right. <laughs> I want to go, ooh. Mr. Lover, lo you see, ooh, Barracuda. Different song? <laughs> no, trying to be part of that one, not working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's put those final touches so, on. I I'll do the cream. Okay, I'm going to show you one and then you can carry on. Okay. Okay, Deal? so this is just our vanilla the cream all you have to do is you're just gonna <laughs> very bossy I know mm. I'm sorry it's the OCD in me but you see it's very easy you just got to put it on top not in the sure, middle okay sure, I see and then what we've done is you've just taken some beautiful gold dust and I'll just show you how to do one yeah look how you did <laughs> I'm so worried please don't mess it up Dan please don't mess it up <laughs> you're doing very well don't get nervous don't get the shakes okay am I doing okay yes cool. so now all we do is you just take the gold dust and I like to put the dust on top <laughs> That's fine. Just go. No! With, just go with it. I'm going with it. Don't tell anyone. Carry on. Let's just keep going. I know. So then we just take our berries and we just put them on top. I like to gold dust anything. So you're Italian, is... of course you like to gold dust everything. <laughs> the golder, the better. <laughs> so I'm just putting these there around here. <gasps> that looks absolutely amazing, just like that. Let's put the final few on. You guys, if you want to go and make this pavlova at home and make it for your family and friends, you're welcome to get the recipe from our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. You can also find the shopping list there for the next time you head over to the stores and want to go buy all the delicious ingredients. Kiara, I think we did something great here. Can I do this? Go for it. Oh, well, I didn't put enough on. No! Ah! This final, you can't see it at home, but I can see all I'm the like, final yeah, touches. I'm like, yeah, yeah, more gold. Cool, let's take it to the table. Cool. It looks so yummy, I especially like the fact that it's so simple to put together. It's That's basically the thing. just it's super thing. easy. Wow, it's been quite an Italian party in that kitchen. Wow. I know. Thank David, you. I feel like this is the lion's den that you were meant to be. Thanks. Uh, it looks great. I've seen smaller, but that looks <laughs> this is the biggest. It does look incredible. It looks lovely. Yeah. I'm actually quite taken by it. It's a perfect centerpiece for a table. You're brilliant. Yeah. But that's the terrible thing, thing, thing about this thing. You always feel too bad for eating it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's now <laughs> one, we're going to try. But now you know what you have to do, and this is what I want to learn how to do. You know, there's some people who can tie a knot of the of the stalk of the cherry in their mouth. I'm going to still find out how to do that. You know, so what people what can people expect from your show, your three night show? I'm funny. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm hilarious. <laughs> and um, I'm taking it there now. You can yeah. if you have a so passport, are come good. bring your passport. <laughs> tell me where you're from and I'll make you laugh. Go and check it That's out, awesome. but also make sure you tune into Afternoon Express tomorrow, same time, same place. Good night, I'm happy not eating. Gonna eat this thing live. You are, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> go.